this is an impressive collaboration because we are now talking about they included the data of 40 trials. So they had the individual patient data for more than 350,000 patients on blood, blood, uh, blood pressure lowering uh, treatments. And because of this rich data sort, they were able to answer important clinical questions about the importance of systolic blood pressure at baseline. And they were able to show that across the whole board, so going from 160 to over to under 120 millimeters mercury, that they showed that the relative treatment effect of blood pressure lowering was constant uh, across the whole range. In addition, they could also look at the clinical subgroup with prior or no prior cardiovascular disease. And again, they were able to show that this relative treatment effect was similar across these, these patient groups. So this has more implications for clinical practice. We now know that this relative treatment effect is constant. But coming forward, I think we need more insight into the absolute benefit. So on an absolute scale, know what your risk of the outcome will with and without treatment and see whether that makes a difference and then do that in, in combination with information about side effects. Because they need to be balanced when we do this shared decision making in practice but they have the rich data sort to look at said data.